All right, welcome back. Uh, F9. When we left off back again, uh, we heard a loud crashing sound. And... Ooh, a note. What a perfect way to start off this episode. Daniel? What are you doing? Daniel? Daniel, wake up. of May, 1839. After pounding the unforgiving stone wall for what seemed like an eternity, I realized it was hopeless. I was trapped. I fell to the ground, gasping for air, trying to focus. That's when I saw a faint blue shimmer. My weakened body was heavy to carry, but I managed to push myself toward the enchanting light. Anything else you want to add on that, Daniel? Because all I'm seeing is black. Daniel? Wake up now. Oh, Lord. So, how are you all today? Checking the time. You're seeing what I'm seeing. All I'm seeing is black. Just a black screen. So I can pause it on a black screen. The hell? What's going on? Stupid Daniel. Let's go back to where I started. Meaning that entire episode was pointless. Sorry guys, I'm still gonna upload it. these loading screens. <laughs> they take forever. So I'm just gonna look at these symbols. So we have something that looks like a pitchfork and the other one's disappeared. Fun times. I don't even remember where I went. I even found Stefano. I think he's back in the area where I found him. Okay. By the way, I should probably grab a chair. I didn't do that. That wasn't me. That was Slender Man. Whiteness. That's totally what you have to be swift when you activate the first one. You hear that? If it stops, you'll have to start over. 
Isn't all this a bit excessive? You can never be too careful, friend. I know that sound. I won't do anything. Oh, I gotta read this one. Another region rich with Joan. Joel is us. Yeah, I'm not reading that word. Deep within the East Woods, for centuries there have been stories surrounding the hamlet and its neighbor, Castle Brennenberg. <laughs> Quiet forest clad mountains dressed with scattered lakes is as pi picturesque as can be. Up base, the area is haunted by the dark. Ask any local, and you will hear proof of the widespread superstition. All travelers should indulge themselves in such conversations, since it will certainly serve as exciting entertainment. All of them have their own twists on the tables. But there are some more motives that keep reappearing. The story reaches all the way back to the time of the Thirty Years' War. It is said that the soldiers who abandoned their duty got lost in the old dark woods and were forever damned to roll the grounds. Their bodies rot by their fainted souls. Or is that? Oh, tainted souls left them disgusted and empty of, essen of essence. Many have cited them over the years and described them as horrid evidence. They move silently through the woods, swung away from the beholder. They are called gatherers, as they seem to follow some ambition to steal living creatures. It is, they, it is their prey which can be heard struggling inside Damn burlap sacks dragged behind them, which reveal their presence. What dark scheme do they follow? Oh, for. F okay, just two more pages. Heinrich Cornelius Agrippa. <laughs> Agrippa! A well known. It visited the, at the start of the 16th century. He resided in a local inn. Uh, he resided in a local inn for a fortnight as he looked for remnants of a kingdom's past. During his stay, all the preeminent members of society paid notice and he is mentioned in many records at the time. One day, he went to investigate a barrel in the northern western gates, or glades, sorry, only to never to be seen again. Heinrich is now is known to have passed away in some ten years later. He dismissed the notion of ever visiting, which makes you wonder what really happened. Who was this mysterious man who visited this sleepy hamlet in the woods, and what happened to him? He got killed by Slender, because he was in the woods. Of course. Ah, last page. The Baron of Brennenberg lives a reclusive life with his family at his castle nearby. And like most of those noble birth rumors, and are inherited and alongside with the tale, with the title, researching the history reveals little. Reveals little before the castle was consumed by fire in the late 16th century. It was rebuilt by Alexander, a nobleman from the. From the something lands, Rhinelands, claiming that claiming the role as a protector from the pre Russian state, Prussian state, Alexander helped the region to flourish and remain popular throughout his presumed lifetime. The family has always been secretive when it comes to lineage and heritage. Therefore, the birth and death of Alexander and his offspring has never been fully recorded. This has fed the idea that the Baron is, in fact, one 
in the same who came from the west over 300 years ago. <laughs> Lived through the time of occupation and joined over the order of the Black Eagle along with the great leaders of this country. That took like, what, five minutes? Just a note. Well, I was enjoying my bees, and now I have to do this. Okay, you. Over here. I'm pretty sure the amnesia monster comes around here. Because I do remember him going around the first time. I remember you had to hide. Okay, well, obviously it's this book. There's the last book. Come on. I <laughs> close this bookshelf, please. Or maybe. <laughs> now the monster will have to get through my chair. Beware the chair. Hey, a key. All right. Why cellar key? No. Supposed to hide now? Cause I really don't know. Sorry, that was bugging me. We good? I really don't trust this. I don't even know how to crouch. Wilhelm and his fools have endangered my research long enough with their ab absent-minded handling of the human vessels. The sheriff is keeping a watchful eye on the forest and is killing my trusty servants. It's just a matter of time until they follow the trail to Brennenburg. I need to look up while he Wilhelm and his men up to avoid further investigation from the public. The wine cellar will be Therefore, sealed off until the matter has been handled. Either the king's men leave or they will starve. Whatever comes first, they cannot for all I care. They can rot for all I care. Maybe I'll feed them some wine. It would be in a sense to solve my problems. Monster? Okay, well, time to hide. This lovely roomy closet. No, you're getting close too. Okay. So, the next episode is something you might look forward to because I might find a monster and I might not. I don't know. Let's find out in the next part. End record. And I will see you then. Bye.